Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Crackerjack, and I'd just like to say a massive thanks to everyone who's subscribed and watched the videos so far. It is a massive motivation to continue making videos, and you know, really, I'm just doing this for fun at the moment. I'm trying to make you guys laugh, and trying to make you guys have a good time whilst you're watching my videos, and it is a really massive help when you guys do watch them, and to all the people subscribed, I do just want to say thank you. Um, but yeah, today we come in at you with something different. I won't go into too much detail as I do explain it in the footage that I have recorded, so I won't go into too much detail, but I'd just like to say, as always, if you do enjoy the video, then please leave a like, hit the subscribe button, comment, give me some feedback, all of that good stuff, and it would really be appreciated, and it does only take a matter of seconds to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy the content. But without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Hey guys, it's Crackerjack here, and coming up today, I have something a bit different for you guys. Now, it should be said that this game isn't actually part of the free to play series that I'm doing at the moment as it did cost 79p but you know 79p it seemed like a pretty cool game um, and yeah it's called Shark Dating Simulator if you can't already tell XL of course I'm not really sure what the XL means but you know it's a shark dating simulator it seems pretty cool pretty weird pretty out there and I mean it only cost 79p which in my mind is a bargain now this game has just come out, in fact it was released yesterday, Monday the 14th of August, and from what I've heard, this game is pretty fun, so yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys a couple of videos of this, probably make one or two videos depending on how long the gameplay is, I've heard it's not really a long game, but yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Where, where am I? Why, the last thing I remember, it was something about... The ocean, of course. If only I wasn't so groggy. Whoa, Marina. You there, wake up and smell the salt. Ah. What the hell's your problem? I'll have no wool gathering on board my ship. Isn't this more of a small boat? Don't give me any of your seas, Greenhorn. Holy cow, is this the kind of lame-brained scrub scuba school is sending out these days? Wow, calm down. How is a fish scientist supposed to work with this kind of material? It's an insult to fish science. You're a fish scientist? A genuine fish scientist. Wow. Now listen up, you Neanderthal sea sponge. You're here to do a job, and you had better do it right. There's something mysterious going on in the sea around these parts, and I mean, and I mean to find out what it is. If I can swim, I'd go myself, but I can't. That's your job. You're a fish scientist and you can't swim. You're a fish scientist and you can't swim. What the hell's going on with you? Okay, enough chit chat. Get on with it. Oh, what's the goose look you inbred? Do you have a question or something? Oh, uh, yeah, what am I actually supposed to be doing? No ma'am, I'm all over it like an an enemy. Wow, are, are those real? <laughs> oh, okay, wow, are those real? Given the context of your bulging eyeballs, I'm going to assume you're talking about my breasts, you little pervert. Um, <laughs> no? Let me tell you something. I'm one of the greatest fish scientists ever to science a fish. To science a fish! This has been my calling since I was little, and by God, I intend to walk away with the fish Nobel Prize. <laughs> you can't be serious. That's not a fish Nobel Prize. What are you playing at? But fish science is a man's world, and I realised early on, if I wanted that price, I was going to need more than a couple of beasting dairy pillows to distract the judges. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> so I worked my perfect ass off as a menial fish lab assistant for years, saving hard to get together the money I'd need. So you saved for a boob job. Is this what you're telling me? And I paid the same guy who, upgro who upgraded Carmen Electra to give me big, full, dreamy, tactile cans like this. Uh, what the fuck is this game? <laughs> In other words, I paid hard-earned currency for these two. Solid cash. I'm not complaining. I mean, you can do what you want. It's your own body. Um, and if that doesn't make them real, then I, for one, don't know what does. I mean, they're, they're fake. You get me? You little shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I won't look anymore, god damn. Yes, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Good. Any more stupid questions now, or are you going to do your damn job? <laughs> yeah, what is the job? Yes ma'am, Miss Marina, can I bounce them around a little? You have to be shitting me, right? 
<laughs> You've got more chance of getting your hands on an orca's scrotum than you have of touching me anywhere. Oh damn. Guess it was worth a shot. You've got some balls on you, I'll give you that. <laughs> I got I got four balls. Now listen, if you were paying attention to what's going on rather than my jubblies, you'll know there's something weird going on in the sea. The locals say that there's talk that there's talking fish around these parts. You're going mad. They also say that they once saw the face of Bob Hope in a pomegranate, but I happen to believe them on this one. Wow. Get into that ocean and find out what's going on with these fish before I harpoon you through the gizzard. Find a talking one, catch it alive and bring it back. Uh, yes sir, ma'am, ma'am sir. Idiot, wow. She's pretty hot when she's mad, yeah. <laughs> Although, come to think of it, I haven't seen her being anything else yet. Well, better earn my pay. Here goes nothing. Ah, the majesty of life under the ocean waves. Now, what I have to ask myself is, if I was a talking fish, where would I be? In Miss Marina's dreams, that's where I'd be. Yeah, of course, and there's no, no such thing as a talking fish. Listen, listening to a lot of old fishermen's tales, she must have had a sponge for her brain. Okay, let's check my gear. Oxygen tank full, check. Shark repellent, check. Sandwiches, hmm, check, I guess. Maybe I should have wrapped them in something, yeah, I definitely should have. Better get on with it. Where should I look first? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, behind seaweed, that looks promising. Hello, any little fishies in here? Wow, isn't that cute? A little sea slug. Hello there, little guy. How are you doing today? Suck on my balls! <laughs> what did you... What? Suck on my balls! What the hell is this game? Wait, do you even have balls? <laughs> Suck on my balls! Okay, okay, I get it. Fascinating. So the rumours are true, there really are talking sea critters down here. But how can that be? What twisted parody of nature is this? And how can I com communicate with them perfectly well underwater? Well, it ain't my problem. I'm no fish scientist after all. I guess I should catch this little fella and show him to Marina. Suck on my balls! Okay, shut the fuck up! Actually, maybe I'll look around for something better. I got two more balls! Oh nice, as long as I don't have to suck on them, yeah, god. I'll bet there are some choice fish inside that old wreck over there. I'll try there. Yes, let's go. Let's see if I can get in here. Bah! What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Baka! Holy shit! Shark! Take your grubby little human paws off my ship. It isn't for the likes of you to disrespect. I'm, I, I'm just doing my job. Get away from there right now or I shall bite you hard. I mean it. Ugh. Oh my god, what was it my lecturer said to do when faced with a shark again? <laughs> oh no, I don't want to smack a shark, surely. Surely you don't smack a shark. Okay, I'm going to keep perfectly still. Or maybe I should use my shark repellent. I'll keep perfectly still for now. Don't want to anger this shark. Sharks have a much worse reputation than they deserve. I mean, it has a bow on its head. How bad can things be? Yeah, exactly. Why do you not speak, fool? Perhaps it's a shame that you that holds your tongue. And nor am I surprised. How dare you lay your hands on a lady's vessel? Well, Marina was right. You fish down here do talk. Fish? I'll thank you not to use that word. Baka! That is our word. How dare you? Why should I why? I should give you a good biting right now. Oh, don't do that. I mean, I didn't mean any harm, Mrs. Shark. Miss! Miss Shark, sorry. Hmm. At least you'll apologise like a gentleman. You certainly have courage. Hey, I got five more balls. <laughs> Perhaps I won't bite you today, but take my advice, little man thing. Get out of here and don't come back. If I catch you again, ooh, it'll be the worst for you. Now scat, scat. Okay, okay, okay I'm going. Wow, this is the most messed up. I mean it, Baka! 
Okay, okay. I've pushed my luck far enough for one day. It's back to the boat for me. Safe at last, of course. That was quite an unusual experience. Back already? I'm almost semi-impressed. Let's see what you've got. Oh boy, do I have a story for you. Story? Save it for bedtime when you have your hideous children. I want results. I want a talking fish. So hand it over. Oh, well, I, I don't have one yet, Marina. Sorry. Well, there was a shark down there. Of course there was a shark down there, you numbskull. These are shark-infested waters. You find donuts in a donut shop, you find sharks in shark-infested waters. Okay, don't be so fucking sassy with me, missy. But never, never do you find a shark in a donut shop. Yes, I, okay, you make yourself perfectly clear. Holy hell, and the hire on this boat has run out. I've got to take it back. We're coming back here tomorrow, you punk, and the extra day's boat hire is coming out of your wages. Why are males so useless? Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, if you think sharks are no big deal, you do it. I can't, you spasmo. Didn't I already tell you I can't swim? Well, considering you're a fish scientist, maybe you ought to learn. Yeah, of course. I did learn. It's not that I don't know how. It's that it's these accursed breasts. They have considerable, considerable positive buoyancy. That's your excuse. You mean they float? That's just what I said. Good God, your hard work. Sometimes these fabulous sweater puppies. That's a new name. Sweater puppies of mine are just too difficult to handle. Is this is like my inner, inner, like, is this what I'm saying to myself in my head, I assume? I bet I could handle them. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Brain. You're not the boss of me. Yes, I am, actually. What the hell is wrong with you? How dare you? You insult me and then you just stand there drooling to yourself? If I had the time to hire someone who doesn't have a brain soul that desperately scrolls through Tinder every night, I would, but I don't. <laughs> Whatever. I'm sick of this. I'm taking her back. We return tomorrow. Oh, great. That'll be something to look forward to. Hmm. Wonder if I'll see that shark again. I liked its little bow. Next time, I'll be a, it'll be a little more prepared. Yep. Yep, so this is this game so far. <laughs> As I lay in bed that night, strange questions torment my mind. Marina was, was right, but how can fish talk? What's been going on down there? Why have I, of all the graduates of scuba school, been chosen to solve this strange mystery? Why was that sea slug such a dick? <laughs> And finally, is that shark going to be around and still mad as bees? Well, no sense in worrying about it, I suppose. Just have to see what happens tomorrow. Yep, let's get some sleep.